Would you believe that these started out as discarded jars I pulled from the recycle bin? After a good cleaning, I turned them into something new. Stay tuned and watch my video and see how I did it. Okay, I have pre-mixed my KS Resin Liquidy Split. I'm missing up. Uh, I'm mixing 40 milliliters, so I'm going to use 20 milliliters for each one of these jars. And I'm separating into three different cups. The first cup is Nocon Blue. The second cup is my Sesso uh, Aqua. And then the third cup is the Gold um, Sesso mica powders. All three of these are mica powders. I think I need a little bit more of that Nocon Blue. And I'm going to leave a little bit in my cup that I'm going to mix some white. I have um, cleaned my jars really well and I have gone ahead and cleaned them again with some alcohol because. I've been handling them a little bit with my hands. So I just want to make sure that I just want to make sure that they're all nice and clean. And these are would be great for little storage jars in the kitchen or even a bathroom. Um let's go ahead and put white. And this is a random white liquid resin dye, and I'm going to put four drops. Ah, that's five drops. I have no idea what brand that is. Resin is covering the container. So that is the white in the leftover resin in my cup. Never used that much white. So let me get a little... reuse my sticks. All right, let me plug in my handy dandy heat gun. Mm. All right, so the gold is going to go along the bottom. Boy, that's a big piece of something in there, like the beach. Whoops. Well, these are a little bit loose on here. Okay. I wish the beach was gold. We'd all be rich, wouldn't we? I open the door for five seconds to let my dog in, and I've got five mosquitoes on me. It's a piece of something there, too. I'm not going to put any on the very bottom, but I do want to make sure that I have an even layer on here. It doesn't have to be completely even. No. We are going to blend it with the blue. Okay. This one's flopping around a little bit on that pool noodle. Not really worried about it. All right, there's the gold. I'm going to do my lighter color first. Um, well, second. And just putting some. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. No.
So you can see it is kind of blending with the gold. And that is a really, really pretty effect. That is a really pretty effect. Oh, my word. Sorry, but this thing is moving around so much. I have it on my little turntable. I saw a YouTube video. I can't remember if it was RK3 Designs. I'm pretty sure it was RK3 Designs. And she had someone doing a tutorial on um, on a flip, on a like a cutout of a flip flop. It wasn't actually a flip flop, but um, they were doing beach art on this um, flip flop cutout. And it was the prettiest thing I've seen in a long time. I just put my arm in that. I did. But it was a like a sunset beach scene and it had purple in it and it was absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm thinking now that I might need to try to recreate that. And I did not put that much mica powder in these cups. And I'm almost thinking I might have put too much. I probably put the equivalent to maybe a quarter teaspoon and it is definitely more solid than I would like like you're not going to be able to see through it so these would be opaque um, that's okay maybe I'll lighten up on the like a powder next time. And I'm not wanting to get all the way to the top where the um, the threading is for the lid, but kind of did. I think I can I can get that off later and it's not going to affect anything of what we're doing. Gloves and want to slip a little bit. I'm going to put a link if I can find a link to that. Um, look what I just did to that tutorial that Rhonda Draculis did on her website, or not her website, but her YouTube channel. It's RK3 Designs. And she had someone in there doing this. It was just amazing. So I'm going to find a link to that and post it uh, in the description to show you all how cool it is. And also um, probably the inspiration for maybe an upcoming video of mine. You know, that's where you find your inspiration, or that's where I find my inspiration is just different YouTube channels. And it might be something that, um, you know, is not necessarily resin art or is not necessarily um, um, the materials that you would use. I hope that makes sense. But it gives you inspiration. Like the more you watch, the more inspired you are to maybe make it your own. Deidre at Our Upcycled Life is one of my favorite YouTubers. She does a lot of um, repurposing and upcycling, and it's more of a farmhouse look. Um, which is not my forte, but I love her channel. I love how, how she teaches and 
I'm really inspired by her style. These are really turning out cool. And I'm, I'm seeing a couple of spots where the resin's wanting to separate. I'm not sure why. And it may be that I just had a little something on the glass. Maybe I didn't clean it well enough. And that very well could be. So I'm going to put now some um, white. And these are going to be our waves. We're just going to kind of be random. And I think those spots that are creating the little fish eyes, like this right here, I can put some charms, some little turtle charms on there after these are cured. That is not going to be a problem at all. I can definitely, I can definitely um, fix that once these are cured. Because I can use some E6000 or I can um, just do that maybe. I'm not going to put it on the beach. Um, but yeah, we can, we can fix that. We can put a little charm. I'm going to get all this white. Where do I need it? All right. Now, heat gun, low heat, high air. And two things this does is it pops our bubbles. These are really going to turn out nice. It pops the bubbles and it heats up the resin a little bit enough to allow us to push that white and create hopefully some, some lacing. So lacing is a little bit more difficult on these because this thing is moving so much. Yeah, that's really cool. I'll probably put a little turtles or an octopus or something. want to find some shark charms and I want to find dolphins and um, so sharks and dolphins and whales I want to find some whales I have some dolphins but oh, that's gonna be pretty See how it's just pulling. It's pulling away there. I don't know why. All right, that's enough. Turn this off. I see a couple little. Oh, stop. A couple little debris spots. Wait till it comes around. My glass or my cup may not have been all the way clean. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna let these turn. That one's gonna get floppy and I'll put a charm right there. And I'll put a charm there and I'll put a charm there. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Those are gonna be pretty. Okay, let's let these turn and then come back in a couple hours and see what we have and um, yeah. so last night off camera I did work on these a little bit more with some resin that I had 
just to fill those lumpy, bumpy spots and bare spots that I had to try to fill them in a little bit more because I, I really honestly didn't think it would work, but it did. Um, I think I had fish eyes because there still maybe was some, you know, decal or, or just some something sticky on the jar that was making the, the resin repel. So, um, you know, I've got some more, I think I've just got some more practicing to do, but I mean, these will be fine. These are cute. I think just for little, um, maybe for some brushes, art brushes or whatnot. I'm going to put them in my booth and just see, see what happens. They're, they're cute. I mean, they're not perfect, but they're cute. Um, I do want to maybe, I might. Put a, some twine, glue some twine around there just to clean up that edge where I had gotten the, the resin up to the edge and I really didn't want to because I want a clean edge on this. So I think for the future, what I'm going to do is go ahead and tape off the rim just so I don't have an ugly edge up here. But um, I mean, right now this is okay. So I am going to put a little resin turtle that I made on here and then the starfish or maybe, yeah, let's do this. Um, uh, what else can I, what other treasures do I have on here? I thought I had, oh, I do have a little silver starfish that I can kind of pair together. Whoops. And I'm going to put the starfish on there. Uh, well, there's another starfish. How about this octopus? Okay. Let's do that. Just snip off. These are charms, so I have to snip off the little bale. These will be good little storage jars, maybe. Um, I do have the lids that I just painted with um, just some spray paint. So I think I'm just going to sell them like this. I am going to probably, I'm going to probably re repaint the, the lid, honestly, and sell them for little storage jars. Hmm. Nope. Happy. Super, super happy. These were destined for the recycle bin, but I rescued them and turned them into something new. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and consider trying this next time. Happy crafting. Bye.